College is a clinic that specializes in uh, facial cosmetics and skin. Um, so we have two uh, board certified uh, doctors here, the only place in Winnipeg that has those specific doctors. Myself, who's a, a facial plastic surgeon, and Dr. Alexis Bakken, who's a, a dermatologist. There's more anatomy from here to here than the rest of the body combined. It makes it really challenging. When we're doing something like rhinoplasty or something on the face, it's a matter of millimeters that make a difference. Um, and it's right out there for everyone to see. You can't hide any of your incisions. You can't hide any mistakes. And yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but at the, t at the same time, that challenge helps you get up every day and you know really focus and make you want to go to work and, and be better all the time. So. It's, uh, it's just the challenge that, that uh, makes the face you know, where I want to be. It's actually quite a, a great relationship to have professionally because Dr. Esmail is a head and neck and plastic surgeon, helps me a lot with uh, surgical procedures that I do. Um, anything really involved on the face or head and neck, um, I have him assist me with. So it allows me to provide a short wait time for surgical intervention for patients with skin cancer or other cosmetic concerns. Um, often when people come, they say, well, uh, you know, oh, I want a facelift or I want a brow lift or I want a little bit of filler, but really what everybody wants is to look 10 years younger. And so what we've done is instead of having them choose this or that or the other thing, um, we have one procedure called the Visalift where we pretty much do everything that's required to make you look 10 years younger and we put it all in one package. And then me as the expert, I get to, to decide what that includes. And often it's almost a six, six months to a year process where we're kind of doing big procedure and then follow-up procedures um, to get you, get you to that point. Because it is a journey and they have ups and downs and they have periods where they feel non-confident and they have periods where they feel, they feel better, right? So, and we want them to feel comfortable to be able to come in and express all of those things to us and, 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 and it's very different in that matter. So, you know, that's the try to, the kind of relationship that we try to establish. Overall skin health is our main goal and my main interest really lies in skin cancers and skin malignancy and everything around that from diagnosing, recognizing, treating, but more so preventing those from happening. So we do a lot of education for patients around warning signs for skin cancer, how to check your own skin to ensure there are no concerning things happening, how to prevent uh, UV radiation and damage that can lead to skin cancer down the road. As as well as how that UV radiation can result in cosmetic um, things on the skin, you know, fine lines, wrinkles, brown spots, red spots, all of those things. So we really like to support people in finding optimal health for their skin because your skin is how you show yourself to the world and that's why I love my job and it's so rewarding because we can help people feel really confident, feel really comfortable about who they are. We can treat the uh, the face in a holistic manner. So from a structural point of view, you have the facial plastic surgeon, and then from the wrapping or the skin, you know, we have a board certified dermatologist that's here um, to be able to give you all of the information that you need for uh, skin care, lasers, um, fillers, and all of those things. So um, it is really a dream team.